Hi everyone, welcome to TechKeller. Today I'm gonna show you another feature of the JWT uh, extension. I'm gonna start by showing a demo so you will understand better. Assume that this one is a Firebase web app and you want to add to log into your WordPress website when you so, um, click to a link, for example. And this also apply to um, probably a website that use Firebase or a mobile apps that have a link that lead to the WordPress website and they have the sample WordPress website here it's not login so if I come from another domain from the web app for example and I'm, I'm logging to this one So I'm logging um, with this users. You want to have customer log into your WordPress website without re-enter your email and password, for example. Or you want to user to click on this link, and they can auto log into WordPress website, even though they are belong to different domain. Okay, you see that this domain different. Then after I click this one, okay. It will redirect to this page, which is the new um, WordPress website in a totally different domain. And I'm logging in. So you see that my account here being logged into a WordPress website. So that's everything. So that the new feature that I added to the JWT um, extension, you can find it here under the product. And this one. This one is the login that you will need. And because this is an extension, so you will need this one too. Okay. Cool. Now I'm gonna go to the detail how it works. So let me draw something so you will understand. Load. So pretend that you have a, a WordPress website or a web app or a mobile app, for example, and it uses Firebase as backend, and you also have the WordPress website or a WooCommerce website. And when users, okay, when you start logging into this one, you start logging into your web app, for example. So let's log in. Then, if you have like a, a product or a link that you want to lead user to this website. So they can purchase your product, for example, you have a link, like a WooCommerce link in the web app and they want you to, user to go to the website. The normal flow is they have to enter the password again. Like if they have a link without the extension, they have to re-enter credential. Yep, so they have to re-enter credential again and it converts them to do it. So if you have the extension, then user can navigate from a link from your web app and then they can have a feature where they can just auto login via a link. Okay. So this is a new flow. So user will no longer have to re-enter username and password again everything happened automatically so it would make your users happy and if your user happy it will bring more value to you so that is the flow of the new feature and I'm gonna show you how to um, like configure yourself so on a WordPress website um, you have a 
ability to create a new page, such as I create this page, uh, Firebase Auto Login, and I'm gonna put a short code, uh, Firebase Auto Login, with the um, redirect uh, link. So in this case, it redirects to my account page. Okay, and then you save it, and then you will have a, a link to the Firebase Auto Login page that you will use later. Okay, and inside the code, this is a web app. Um, for some, I uh, just pretend um, this is a uh, Firebase web app with different domain, and I have the the UI, uh, which is the authentication that uh, um, allow users to log in, for example. And you have your own uh, authentication on your web app or mobile apps. So um, the main thing is when I have this button and I have a function that will listen to that uh, click event. And then after I click that event, I'm gonna check if user is logging or not. And if user login, I'm gonna run the generate token. So um, this is a cloud function. So make sure that you have uh, this feature element in your web app or mobile apps that will call this cloud function. And after you call this cloud function, you will have the token. What you need to do is you have the Firebase auto login page and you append the TWT um, token to it. And then you navigate to that one, um, just like in the example that I did. And after user navigate to this one, the stroke code from the website will handle its work and how to authenticate users to your WordPress website. So that is how it works. In order to have this cloud function ready, when you download the plugin, you will navigate to your plugin folder. Yeah. You navigate to this plugin folder. Uh, to the function folder and then you run yen to install the packages okay and after that you run the uh, deploy users okay so I'm gonna run yen deploy users um, and then you specify your project um, in this case I'm use this one as example but you will replace with your own um, project ID and you need node uh, 14 to do it so after you install the cloud function uh, if you go to your Firebase account you will have a cloud function name users get custom token here and it is where you will call the function in your web app or your mobile app so I only created for you. All you need to do is to call the function and get the token and then append it into the uh, link to your website. That's everything that you need. In the token, you will have um, the collection that saved the token uh, with the created at time. So it can be used later and remember to set the um, security rules for the JWT token to not allow anyone to read or write to this one. So nobody can read that J token except for the backend services. And after that, the deployment is finished. And that's it. So you have to implement this one by yourself. If you need any help, let me know. Uh, but this, it is something that you implement on your web app or mobile app it's outside of WordPress. So just to let you know that this is some custom uh, that you need to do in order to have the authentication ready. So that's everything that you need for the configure for this extension. And after that, you will have the ability to allow user to log in to your WordPress website from another web app or mobile apps. If you have any question, uh, please let me know. And see you in the next video. Bye.